This video offers an overview of assessment for learning in K-12 classrooms. Growing Success defines assessment for learning as a crucial component of effective instruction. When students clearly understand their learning targets and their progress towards those learning targets, they are more motivated. Additionally, when teachers clearly understand how well their students are learning, they can make better decisions about how to differentiate and pace classroom instruction. On pages 28 and 29 of Growing Success, essential steps in assessment for and as learning are identified. Quality assessment planning is critical to successful instruction. Teachers plan learning goals based on the curriculum expectations and share them with students during the learning cycle. When assessing for learning, teachers need to use evidence to inform instruction, to analyze and interpret evidence of learning, and to guide next steps. When analyzing and interpreting evidence of learning, teachers look to sources within their classrooms, such as observations, conversations, and products. Evidence of student learning includes observations of student actions, conversations with and between students and teachers, and examples of student work. The assessment for learning cycle enables teachers to analyze where students are in their learning, to decide where students need to go next, and to adjust their teaching with targeted instruction. Teachers then assess where students are in relation to the learning goals. Reflection occurs throughout the cycle so that strategies and resources are adapted to support students in their learning. At or near the beginning of the assessment cycle, teachers collect and review information from their students to establish what they already know and can do. Teachers determine student needs and choose what targeted instruction might be effective in reaching the learning goal. During and after the analysis stage, the teacher reflection might include questions such as, do I have sufficient information? Is the learning goal relevant? Where are the gaps in student learning? What targeted instruction strategy would be appropriate to use to close these gaps? Based on the analysis, teachers identify the focus audience, large group, small group, or individual student. Teachers select targeted strategies to scaffold next steps and to differentiate instruction so that specific needs of the students are met. During and after the targeted instruction stage, the teacher reflection might include questions such as, did I identify the most effective instructional group? Did I choose the right targeted strategies? Do I need to use another strategy or tool to further scaffold and differentiate? After targeted instruction, the teacher must ask whether students are where they need to be. If the answer to this question is no, the teacher will need to begin the assessment for learning cycle again. If the answer is yes, the teacher must ask if the feedback provided has assisted students in setting individual and increasingly challenging goals. During and after the assessment stage, the teacher reflection might include questions such as, where are students in relation to the learning goal? Does the collected evidence tell me if I used proper tools? Do I need to revisit targeted instruction and try a different strategy? Was my feedback effective in assisting the students? The assessment for learning cycle is ongoing. Growing Success tells us that teachers must gather information about student learning before, during, and at or near the end of a period of instruction using a variety of assessment strategies and tools. Here are a series of teacher actions that apply the cycle of assessment for learning to any grade or subject area. Teachers analyze gaps in student understanding using diagnostic tools they adapt instructional strategies such as reteaching, regrouping, and retesting to address those gaps. Using student conversations or other assessment tools, teachers assess the effectiveness of the instructional strategies and readjust their plan. Reflection occurs throughout the cycle. 
Resources are continually developed and updated and can be found at ae.misalondon.ca.